Welcome everyone. I wanted to make a short recording for Blackboard Collaborate administrators on how to um, set up rooms for your teachers. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Blackboard Collaborate site, which is, um, you can see the link above, and then you want to sign in with your username and password. Uh, I e each username should be first name dot last name and the pass general password I emailed you that you're supposed to change um, to your individual password. So once you have that typed in, click log in and you'll see this frame here. At the top you have a number of different links. You want to go to the utilities tab. Under the utilities tab um, you want to go to meetings. And then you want to click run if you get a window such as the one you just saw. This is a way to sort through or filter uh, a lot of different rooms if you have a lot of different meetings going on. Um, if you don't have any meetings then just click accept. I typically just click accept every time. Um, now down here you should see a list of rooms that you've created or meetings that you have created. I'm using rooms and meetings synonymously. So if I want to create a room or for a teacher, um, I'm going to click on new. And then I'm going to name the meeting session. Now I just create a meeting room and have it open for 24 hours a day uh, and that way the teacher can go in and use it anytime. This prevents you from having to set up meetings every time a teacher wants to record a class. So I just name the meeting room the teacher's name. So I might say Mr. Banks virtual classroom. I'm just going to put test here. You don't have to do that. Then you want to choose the start time and end time and since you're going to my advice is to keep the meeting room open all the time. You choose the start date, which is today's date, and click OK. And then for the end date, I would navigate to the end of the school year sometime. I typically sent them th through August, uh, right before school starts up again. That way, if the teacher wants to use them over the summer there's to record lessons, they're still active and so I'll choose August 15th and click OK. Um, you want the room to be restricted so that only people um, can access, on only your teachers and their students can access the rooms. Down here the boundary time is set at 30 minutes but since we're opening up the room for 24 hours a day um, this doesn't really matter. 100 seats means there can be up to 100 people in the room at once and that includes the um, teacher. And then you have um, the number of max talkers. I will typically set this to two, one for the main presenter and one for a guest speaker. You don't want to have too many max talkers otherwise um, the students will be talking over each other. I'll also do this with the max cameras, one for the main teacher and one for in case there's a guest speaker. If you have too many cameras, um, it slows down the room and um, there's a lag time in the recording. So down here there's some preferences that you can edit. One of the things that I typically do is hide the names in the recording. Um, this means that when the uh, when there's a recording it will just list participant one participant two and this lets teachers um, post it to a general website and protects the anonymity of the students um, now what i would do is possibly leave this open because the room is open 24 hours a day and so if students get in there um, it will record what they're doing and just in case they want to um, in case you want to know who those names were, um, you sh probably shouldn't hide recordings, but if you know that the teacher is going to be in the room at a particular time, um, you might want to go in and then check the hide um, names in the recording. 
that brings us down here to the recording mode I would change it to automatic for two reasons the first reason is like I mentioned before the room is open 24 hours a day so if students accidentally get in there or on purpose and start horsing around it will automatically record what they do and you'll have some type of record the second reason I would set it to automatic would be because uh, many teachers forget to hit the record button they start presenting and then halfway through their present presentation they know that they f they remember they forgot to hit the record button and they've lost half their presentation and then down here I would keep um, it to find color in case the teachers are using the interactive board or posting pictures on the interactive board you want to have um, the recording email link emailed now it will be emailed to you as the named moderator of the um, of the room and the section down here is if someone wants to f come in and through phone and I typically don't use this so that's pretty much for setting up a room so you just click save and then when this comes up you click yes and now I have a room right here it says for Mr. Banks now to get the recording links the guest and moderator links I click on the room here on the little square I go up to advanced and right here exists the owner link which you, you, is the same as the moderator link which you give to the teacher and here's the guest link which you also give to the teacher and the teacher can email this out to their students now when you have uh, recordings you want to go back to utilities and under files this will list the recordings that a particular teacher makes and you click on the recording button and again you can filter through various criteria I just usually click accept and here lists all the teachers uh, rooms and their recordings you just page through until you find the recording that you are looking for and I'll just pick this one by Dr. Misty Overman. Now notice here it gives the date, the year, the day, and the month. And this is the end time here, not the beginning time. So you should, if your teacher ma teachers make a recording, they should send you the date and the end time so that you can look it up for them and um, send them the recording. And what you want to do over here, here's the link that you want to copy and paste um, and give to the teacher. Now sometimes if you just highlight it like this like I just did you won't get the whole link so what you have to do is go to the end of the link here and highlight from the back to the front to make sure that you get the entire link to email to your teacher and you can just copy and paste that into an email um, and then the teacher can load it up on their website if they like so that's setting up rooms and emailing um, recordings to teachers. And that is it for this basic introduction to administrating a Blackboard Collaborate room. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and have a good day.